What's up, money nerds? FinCon 22 is coming up September 7th through the 10th. FinCon is a digital marketing event for personal finance, content creators, and brands. And this year, we're going to be in Orlando, Florida. We are going back to a hotel environment this year. We're super excited about that. Austin was great last year. Being in a convention center was great, but it's going to be really, really good to all be together in one location. So we will be at the Orlando World Center Marriott, um, which will give us the opportunity to not only have plenty of rooms to house everyone, but plenty of space to have the actual event. Um, and so we think this is going to be really fun for the community. LobbyCon is back in full force um, for FinCon 22. And here's the tea on the hotel. So while I personally am not a Disney fan, um, I know that a lot of FinConners are. And so some of the really good, cool things about this hotel are that you are able to shuttle to Disney properties for free each day to not only the Disney theme parks, but also Disney Springs at night. It's a really nice benefit of this hotel. Get some hotel. good food. Go to the yes. movie theater if you've talked yourself yeah. out all day. I mean, whatever. We've never, we've not returned to a city before. This is our first time to go back to Orlando. But the cool thing about this hotel and what made us really excited was you're not isolated, even though you're not on a Disney property, you're not isolated. You can actually exactly go out and get dinner at night at Disney Springs at whatever budget level you want to. It gives you that. Plus the hotel on its own has this incredible pool and a laser show every night at 10 p.m. I'm excited is also about really the nice. lazy river, a lazy river, right? Okay, but wait, no, no, no. So the lazy river is part of the water park that is also on the hotel property. That is additional, but if you do want to go float in the ra lazy river, you can do that. But if you want to take the cheap route, because we got you our frugal friends, the pool itself is really nice on its own. So you don't have to spend the money on the lazy river if you want, don't want to. But, you know, we're going to have a conference there. So we should yeah, probably like, talk about that. When am I going to have time to attend FinCon uh, when I am going to be in the lazy river in the mornings? I'm going to yeah. be hanging in the pool in the afternoons. I'm going to be Disney uh, Springing at night. <laughs> we also didn't even talk about the golf course. We are going to have a conference there. Yeah. So let's if you do <laughs> want to squeeze a little FinCon into your hotel amenities time, one thing we are doing this year that's different is we are shaking up how we do the main stage. You know, typically FinCon has some keynote speakers and some big ideas and a couple sessions. We are doing three main stage sessions this year. And we are focusing all on big ideas. Big ideas are short, powerful talks given by key community leaders. They're about celebrating the good and the innovative work that's being done in the personal finance and the FinCon community. Um, they, those three main stage talks are going to be focused on creating better content, growing your audience, and profiting from your content. Big Ideas get such great feedback. Um, they are people we love to celebrate. We're excited to hear from. They'll be short, sort of TED Talk style, like back to back to back. It's just a really great opportunity for us to all get together and to hear from each other and to hear um, not only like tips, because you'll hear that more in breakout sessions, but to be inspired and to be excited <laughs> about mm -hmm. what other people in the community are doing as well. And maybe take home some ideas and and be ready to you know put your own feet to the fire and get going from there one thing we have been able to offer the last few years is child care this year fam zoo is providing child care again during the hours that fincon is in session so like uh, i don't know usually like eight to five kind of thing somewhere in that ballpark um that you know that your child is taken care of by a company that's been vetted that is um, certified in cpr and all the things that you would want to be sure of in order to leave your child. So they'll also have um, things for them to do and play and, and, and all that stuff. And we'll send out more information about it. But yes, very grateful to FamZoo again for providing childcare for attendees. There are a limited number of slots. So just keep an eye on your email. We'll send that out and you can sign up for it if you need it. We also make it a priority to accommodate those with ADA needs. Jessica, tell us a little bit about that. So there are several ways that we can talk with you about what your needs are to make sure that you have everything that makes you comfortable at FinCon 22. One is when you purchase a pass, there is a box on the registration form that says, please follow up with me about my ADA needs. And then we will personally send you emails to make sure that we hear exactly what your needs are and make sure that we and or the hotel have those things covered for you. Um, but also if you would like to talk to us about it before you purchase a pass, that is great too. So you can just email us at admin at fincon expo.com and then we can 
discuss your needs and what we are able to provide and accommodate for you. And so then you don't have to purchase a pass and worry about it. You just have had that conversation already. Either way works with us. We are happy to do whatever we can to make sure that VinCon is enjoyable and accessible to as many people as possible. We understand that there are some people who still feel unsure about what if they're not ready to travel or participate in a big event coming in September. And while we our refund policy has always been no refunds, we do want to accommodate for those who are just nervous. So what do you suggest to somebody who's like, I just am not sure if I'm ready to attend a big conference and travel across the country? So a couple of things. One is we have digital recordings and we know it's not the same as being there, but it is it does at least gives you access to the content so that you are able to see the sessions that took place at VinCon. And those will be also, available after the event, not yes. during the event, after the event yes, within after. a couple of weeks. Yeah. Yes. So we're not talking about a virtual event. We are not doing a virtual event this year. It is all live in Orlando. I am talking about the recordings of the sessions after. And they, like Libby said, would be available after. Um, But also, if you purchase a pass, even though we don't do refunds, we do offer pass transfers for a $50 admin fee. So what that means is if you purchase a pass now and you decide that you can't come to FinCon, you could sell your pass to someone else for the same price that you paid for it. You would reach out to us, pay a $50 admin fee, and then we would transfer your pass to them. So that is also something that kind of gives you a little bit more of a peace of mind. I will say that a lot of those pass transfers don't happen until closer to the event because right now passes are quite low. But as passes continue to increase in price, if you bought a pass at the low level of like 250, then people may want that in July when passes are $100 more. We are bringing that courtesy uh, back for 2022. So just know if you are still a little nervous about that, that that may be an option that's that helps you not be so nervous about it. Another thing we typically do from year to year is offer scholarships. That will be no different this year. I think last year we gave away 50 scholarships. Um, and Somewhere in the ballpark. Yeah, yeah. and that, that's something we feel really grateful that we are able to do for those in our community. Keep an eye on your email in the next month or two, um, we will be sending out more information about scholarships. We've got way more to give away this year and actually um, some changes into who is eligible for scholarships. When it comes to what to expect at FinCon 22, there's a lot of stuff on the schedule. And when, when we start building it, we try to do it so that you can achieve three things. You can find some people, you can get some business done, and you can learn from your peers. And so we want to talk a little bit about what happens at FinCon that falls into those categories. One big reason people attend FinCon every year and it's the reason they come back year after year after year is because they find other money nerds like themselves. They find their people. Um, There's nowhere else you can go where you're among 2,000 other personal finance creators. You can talk shop, you can collaborate, you can have fun together, almost like camp, like quite honestly. So Jessica, tell us about what is on the schedule at FinCon that helps you find people. So you have a lot of different ways that we can do that. Um, Meetups. So there are platform meetups. There are niche meetups. There are local uh, FinCon local meetups and community meetups, ones that you create yourself organically um, for people you would like to connect with that maybe we're not able to do in other ways. So there are a lot of ways that you can connect with people via meetups. There's networking. I joked earlier about LobbyCon, but if you talk to somebody who's been to FinCon before, LobbyCon is where a lot of people hang out late night in the lobby and shut it down every (laughs) single, and I'm not even going to say night, like every single morning at like 2 a.m. The FinCon Central Lounge. Um, So while FinCon Central is our expo hall, and while it's going on, there's also a, a huge lounge in there where we host a lot of these meetups, but also places where you can just sit and hang out and and visit and get to know other people. So all of those are networking opportunities. We have this thing called first timers orientation. So if you've never been to FinCon before, you can catch orientation where we will go through a little bit more of a deep dive into ways that you can really maximize your time at FinCon and how you can find your people. Also part of the way to find your people is to find them at orientation. Also parties, we got a lot of parties. we sometimes have parties where we dance and you can't really talk to other people, but you can find your people on the dance floor. <laughs> but <laughs> Also, sometimes we do things with small groups and sometimes they're at big venues and sometimes they're at the hotel on site. All those are ways that you can find your people. And it doesn't necessarily mean that they're always going to be the people that you originally went in thinking you were going to find. One of the coolest things about FinCon is that you're able to find your people. Um, and sometimes, sometimes those are people that you weren't expecting. That's right. 
That's right. And honestly, like at the end of the day, when people walk away from FinCon, that is one of our biggest goals is like they have connected with others that they can continue the good work with during the year until they come back again the next year. Another thing we do when we plan FinCon is maximize your opportunity to get business done, to make the deals, to make connections, to make it happen. For starters, everyone has access to FinCon Central, and that's our version of an expo hall. So you're able to walk around, meet the brand reps that are there, have conversations about ways that you may want to partner with them, see what they're offering. Um, You're able to connect with them in person, too. So you don't have to worry about finding the right people over email. They are there, and they are standing there right in front of you so you can have some really solid conversations. Um, You're also able to pitch your brand for collaboration ideas as well, and you're able to get swag Um, and also learn about new brands that exist. That's something that a lot of people find is they are like, oh, wow, I didn't even know this brand was a thing. Or this is a new brand that I haven't heard much about. I got a chance to talk to them and I feel really good about the work they're doing. All those are ways Mm -hmm. that you can can do business in FinCon Central. Also, if you really want to do business, then you can purchase a pro pass and go to the pro networking event. You can have one-on-one meetings with these brand reps. You can bring your, your media kit to show them why they would want to work with you. And you can work, connect with brands that you already have connected with in the past, or you can connect with new brands. And if you have purchased a pass already for FinCon and you purchased a basic pass and you want to upgrade to a pro pass, you're able to do that as well. You just email us at admin at finconexpo.com and we'll help you upgrade to a pro pass. Pro networking is one of the best ways, hands down, to do business at FinCon. Mm -hmm. We also have a freelancers marketplace where if you are a freelancer, there are brands there and other creators who are looking for freelancers to either create content, maybe do some website stuff for them, uh, maybe help them with their podcast, help them with their YouTube edits. A lot of different reasons that they may be looking for freelancers. So you can go to the freelancers marketplace and you can find jobs there. And many report to us that they're finding enough clients to fill their roster for the year as a freelancer. So that is a really cool opportunity as well. It doesn't cost anything to participate in the freelancers marketplace. Um, And another way to to do business is an interesting roundabout, but also way to do business is you're able to create content on site. So you're able to find people who you want to collaborate with. You're able to say, hey, I've got this time that, uh, that I've signed up for in the podcasting studio. Will you come and be on my podcast? Or I've got this time set aside in the video booth. Will you come be on my YouTube channel, Um, or you can plan to do it later. Either way, you're able to connect with people, which could lead to collaborations, which which could also lead to more business. Um, You, we really encourage both creators and brands to create content on site. And so feel free to bring whatever you want to, to create that content. However, just keep it mobile. If you're coming to FinCon with an expectation that you want to learn how to grow your business, you want to get some new tools in your tool belt of creation, you want to really just figure out what peers are doing ahead of you and push you to be a better creator, there are plenty of opportunities to do some learning while you're at FinCon. Yeah, so we've got 65 plus breakout sessions. We've got tons of tracks. They're organized by, typically by your platform, like blogging, podcasting, YouTubing, social media. But we also have things like the money conversations track and the quick money talks track where you can talk about actual personal finance related content and maybe some new ideas and and new perspectives in that area. But all of those things are geared toward helping you create better content, grow your audience and monetize your work. So those break Breakout sessions are all taught by your personal finance and FinCon peers. Those are people who are just ahead of you in their work. And so they're, they want to be able to share the things that they've learned with other people in the community. So you're able to come and hear from them and be inspired and also probably not only be inspired, but walk away with some actionable steps that you can take back to grow your platform. We've also already talked about the main stage, but that's another way that you can learn, um, especially this year as each stage will have a focus on create grow and profit. We also will have Ask the Experts in FinCon Central that will be near our podcasting stage, our YouTube uh, booth, and um, this year's TikTok booth. Um, And at those Ask the Expert desk, you can go in and just ask people who are a little bit further along and then use some questions that maybe you have that you just really wished you could have asked somebody for some tips and they will be there to do that. And then also we have mentoring. This is one of the most popular parts of FinCon. If you are a registered attendee, you can sign up 
for a mentor. You can tell us when we send that email out. Um, you can say, these are the top three areas where I'm looking for someone to mentor me. These are all things you can expect to be a part of when you attend FinCon 22 this year. Finding your people, doing business, learning from peers, and we hope that it becomes an experience that really pushes you and your brand forward. If you have any questions about the event, please reach out to us at admin at finconexpo.com. Uh, you can also learn more at finconexpo.com slash 22.